Hi guys, so uh, yesterday I got in the, um, I believe it's the Peacock Collection from Crafter's Companion. Um, I got it from HSN. I did check before I came on here and pretty much it's sold out on HSN. The paper pack is sold out. I, It's not on Crafter's Companion site and it's not on Craft Stash yet. So I don't know if, I, you know, I wasn't paying enough attention to know if it's only going to be on HSN. Which sometimes Sarah says that, but then, um, you know, it'll be on their site later or whatever, but it's still not there. So... Uh, for right now, I do not have any links, but if they will be there in the future, they will be affiliate links, which means I will make a small commission if you're purchase items through, items through those links. Um, but for now, uh, it's not available, so <laughs> there's that. Um, <sighs> yeah, long day yesterday, so tough day. Um, and so let's open up our package. And I would have gotten to this yesterday, but again, like I said, it was just a longer day. And then and then I heard of uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg's passing, and that's very sad. She went through a lot. If you read about her, just her illnesses, right? I'm like, I that would have, I would have been taken out by the first bout of something like the types of cancers that she was battling. So I hope she, you know, rests in peace. And um, I'm gonna open this up real quick. We will see. So this morning, I don't know what's up. It's late. My kids aren't downstairs yet. They're still asleep, I guess. My husband went to take a, the car in for an oil change, so he left early. But, um, just a weird morning. I don't know. All right, let's open this up. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, and let me know about your weather, because I'm really fascinated by that. Like, everything's just odd right now. <laughs> Right? Like, everything's just so weird. Um, I don't know if there's still fires around here. I'm not really itchy anymore, so that's good. But um, anyway, I, you know, as you know, I like to sit here and say hello and a little chit-chat. But let's get to this. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, the flooding has resided in the southern states. It's crazy. All right, guys. So, Peacock Collection. We have the Flourishing Frame. And this is a metal die, I believe. Yeah. So it's a larger metal die. It says it is 5 by 7 actual cut size so I don't know if the die is a little bit bigger than that but there you go and of course our beautiful peacock plumage um, dies and I have tons of peacock dies from different companies whether it be uh, local king Anna Griffin um, oh I have some other were they crafted I don't know I have other I have several peacock dies but anyway so these are really pretty though but I always love that kind of thing um, this one is words of inspiration and it's a stamp set. And then this one's another stamp set, Pretty Plumage. Of course, you have your peacock and then some other just kind of fun things you can stamp here and there. Uh, feathered Corner, which looks like a peacock feather, I guess. It has like that same little prettiness there. Um, a really nice uh, 3D embossing folder. And you can kind of see, I like their packaging now. I like you can kind of peek in there. And then we have a plumage panel. And this one's kind of a square embossing folder, I suppose. It says six by six square, and this other one was for five by seven. So larger cards, it seems like. I guess you can go with a smaller piece of paper in there, but. Uh, Proud Peacock metal die, that one's cool. I'm assuming it's just the outline. And, oh, this is cute. Okay, it has dies. I was going to say, okay, so yeah, so it has a little dies so you can um, put this. This is very cute. This is going to take time. I don't think I'm going to review something like that today. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just opened this box and now I'm like, I guess maybe I should make a review of it. But proud as a peacock. That is actually really, really cute. I just don't feel like coloring in that many plumes right now. But let's look at this. The Peacock Collection paper pad. And I was, I don't know. I... I knew the paper is going to be gorgeous because uh, Crafts and Pan has been doing that recently, really knocking it out of the park with their paper. And, but you know, it was $24.95 there on HSN plus the shipping. I just, um, I went ahead and hesitated on that and then it sold out. So there we are. But I'm sure I would love another one <laughs> if it ever comes in, st in stock somewhere else. How pretty already. Okay, so I don't know if that, there we go. And it's double-sided on the back. It's kind of like this blue. Really pretty with foiled words. Of course, gorgeous. Purple on the back. This really pretty 
pattern here, light blue, kind of turquoisey on the back with like some kind of print. And then just one, uh, this one right here reminds me of a die cuts with a view stack I've had for a long time. It's the peacock stack with a, dip, a deeper blue kind of on the back. This one's kind of just plain feathers there. And then light blue on the back here. We have our foil and dark blue on the back. And then this one, this one's really pretty. It's kind of interesting. I like the, the look of that one with the peacocks kind of chilling on what looks like cherry blossom, or just flowers, I guess, with the blue kind of turquoisey background. And then this one has the same pattern on the top. Hopefully you can kind of see the echo there. And then again, that same first page, I guess, mm, with a different background. See how this one's kind of purple and this one's more of a blue. Yeah, and then the peacock's a little bit different color. And now again, the same wording, but in blues as opposed to purple on the other side with the purple on the back. This one has the blue on the back. This one has a darker background, even though it's the same kind of pattern. So that's kind of cool. Um, we have the little peacock feathers. And then, oh, that's interesting. Plain colors, which is actually kind of nice. I like that because, well, first of all, is this vellum? It is, it's vellum. <sighs> oh gosh, you guys, the stack is gorgeous. Okay. So vellum pieces on the back that kind of coordinate. Okay, so let me think about if I want to make a little something. Um, I did want to mention also, thank you, uh, Gina, for reminding me that um, Elizabeth Craft Designs has another 20% off. I hope it still works today. Of course, the Spellbinder sale is still going on and going strong. And I mean, dollar deals, you can't be. Everyone's like, I cannot believe <laughs> the prices or that they hadn't, they didn't realize that Spellbinders carry so much. So um, definitely check those things out. Um, those links will be in the description box. Um, and, oh, one more thing. If you haven't watched the video that I made this little journal, go check it out. I am in love with this little journal. Oh my gosh, it was the Freeform Friday for yesterday. And we made this from scratch, basically, guys, uh, with the canvas, the Arteza canvas and their uh, paints, but it just feels so pretty and I love it. So it's sitting here ready to go and to have some fun with. Um, okay, let me see what I can quickly kind of put together. I don't know if it's gonna be quick because you know, we will see. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, after looking at everything, we're, you're either gonna have to color or you're gonna have to cut something that may not have a lot of detail. Like this thing, um, I like this kind of thing, but I've always kind of stay away from it because there's no, what are you gonna do with this, right? You cut it out, you have your outline, um, and then what? So this one looks like it cuts around the edges. I'll show you real quickly, um, maybe. <laughs> And then you emboss that center, all, well anyway, it cuts all this and then all this is embossed, okay? So, um, you know, I, I don't know how you would want to color that if you got cut it from white paper or colored paper, it's going to be kind of hard. So I think I'm going to have to do some coloring. I'm not going to do this guy because I know this one's going to take a lot of work. Uh, I'll do this one. I wanted to cut this bigger frame because I thought, oh, okay, I was thinking about maybe cutting this frame and then embossing paper and putting this over the embossed paper, but I have a feeling this will get in the way of the face because look how high up that is. So it's going to cover it. You're not even going to see it, but I was thinking about that. So I'm probably going to use this guy. We're going to stamp this and color it. <laughs> even though I'm telling you, I just feel real off this morning. Um, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, I don't know. Let's tell you guys. Um, and then maybe cut some of these, because I always like this. This kind of thing is pretty, because if you cut this from color, okay, fine. You know, you have this little fine thing. It's just that larger one. Like, I don't know what to do with it, you know? So there's that cute little kind of side pocket or however you want to use this one, but not for today. And then we'll grab some of the papers at some point here. So first I'm going to focus on coloring. So let's get this guy out. I am going to use my um, little... Uh, tool here, my stamping tool. People ask about this tool all the time. Okay, so basically I got the first iteration of the We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press, which was kind of hinged like this. And then uh, Misty started suing everybody, and then um, <laughs> We Are Memory Keepers put out the Precision Press Plus, which is what this is. And this slides in and out, so if I wanted to switch it out for this thing that does like a marquee, or for um, a stencil holder, it's like a little clipboard on the top, and then something else. There's three things. I don't remember what the other thing is. Or maybe, there's, maybe that is the three things. Anyway, I always keep the, this uh, on here. And then I have the new precision press, which isn't super precision like this because it's not hinged. It's kind of like a push down thing. So people ask about this all the time. I mean, maybe you can find it a Tuesday morning if you're lucky. It's not really sold anywhere because, again, you know, all that stuff that whatever's going on with Misty. So, um, you know, I, I would just, I don't know. Okay, I don't really know what I want to do with this as far as 
Okay, this is just an acrylic stamp. It's not um, photopolymer. I don't know if I'm going to cut this out or what I'm going to do. So anyhow, I just wanted to let you guys know because I know people ask about this a lot. Um, how I'm going to do this. If I use this... I don't want to fussy cut it. Well, maybe I will fussy cut it. Okay, maybe we're going to fussy cut this guy. I know. That's, it's not the worst shape. I think it'd be okay. So I'm going to move it over like this and so I'm going to cut it out anyway. And recently I've been stamping. As soon as I missed a little piece because <laughs> I don't have my um, stamping mat under here from uh, Diamond Press because uh, let me see here. Um, it got really messy doing all kinds of mixed media stuff and I just don't like to present it because it looks all you know messy. But um, it works really great so I was kind of used to that and I was spoiled by that and now when I don't have it I'm like ah! I do have one of those old school like burgundy color ones. Did you ever see that Joann's? They had like this thick foam like this that you're supposed to stamp on and you can cut it into pieces if you wanted. So I have that stuff and I also have the back of my close to my heart um, mat. So the mat is self healing on the top and then the back it's kind of bouncy. Okay, I'm going to tuck this all the way up into the corner. This, hmm. Okay, not bad. I probably could have pushed a little harder in that center, but I'm going to leave it at that. Since we're going to color it anyway, I think it's okay. There's like a little something on here. Okay. Well, let me get some colors of my, I guess, tri-blends. I don't know. This is very small areas. And um, I was thinking about using my brush tips because I prefer those, but they're kind of big. I might have to use the original tri-blends. I'll be right back. You know what? I think it's what it is, is that the packaging doesn't really have examples. So, like, I, I don't know what I want to color. <laughs> like, I don't know. Ay, ay. Uh, let's see. So I grabbed some colors. They're like blues and purples and turquoise. And these are the original tri-blends because I don't know, again, what I want to use. Um, let me see. And then that's the darkest. Ooh, maybe that's too dark. How about this lighter color? Okay, so that one's okay. Like a lime green. We need, like, a purple. I can hear my kids are... Ah, that purple is really deep, but let's see the lighter color. Okay, so we have a little purple. Oopsie. This is the purple blend, and I just dropped it, and look what happened. <gasps> dun, 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 and it got pushed in, but it'll be okay. You can also push that back out. We have a yellow, just because I feel like we need yellow, but that yellow is very light, almost green. And then we have these two that I've never used, blue turquoise and green turquoise. So let me open these up, because these sometimes are kind of a pain to open, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's try this green turquoise blend. That's a pretty color. I just don't know that these are the colors I want. Blue turquoise blend. So this one's probably a good one. Okay, so I'll start with this blue turquoise blend and I'll go around with the lighter color. Alright. I don't know that I'm going to really do a lot of blending with this one. So there's the lightest color and I'll go in with the darker color. Just around here, maybe some in here. And go back with the lighter color. And this is the thing. From here, now we're going to uh, choose what we want to start doing. Maybe what I'll do is still do some of that deeper blue here. Just so we can differentiate that little piece. This is a lighter color. And maybe blend that into this green one. It's the light part. And we'll come in with the darker one. And we'll keep working. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. So <laughs> we just maybe put that darker green in here too. And the little beak. Do they even have yellow beaks or are they like black? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, and then I'll take the darker color too and just kind of add a little color in here. Maybe top it off with a little bit of this one. Okay, this is, this is, okay. <laughs> Let's see. 
so I can see. Uh, um, let's start with maybe this purple. And I'm going to go into the... Oh, no. Let's go with the medium purple. I'm going to go into each little center. So I'm not going to bore you guys with this because this is going to take a minute. I'm going to go into each center like that with the purple. And then I'll go into the lightest of the blue turquoise around that. I'm not even... And then maybe go into the alpine green blend with the lighter green around that. And then the lightest of the green... No, that's the darkest one. Hold on. And the lightest of the green turquoise blend after that. Okay, I don't even know how this is going to look, but we will see. So I'm going to continue coloring everything pretty much just like that. I just want to check in with you guys. This is taking a while. And this is kind of what my concern was with this collection. I was like, you know what? I don't think it's as easy <laughs> to get the things going as you think. You know, I love the dyes. I think um, since I got the whole collection, obviously I have things in here that maybe aren't... Um, stuff that I would really work on. And right now all I'm doing is going in with yellow and just kind of adding it in. I don't even know. Um, it, it takes a minute, okay? So if you're into coloring, I think what happened is I woke up this morning and I wanted to do some a quick project. This is what arrived and it's not a quick project. So I'm just kind of like, Ugh. but I'm gonna get through it. Um, I'm almost done with this. And then what we're gonna do is just some die cutting and then put together a nice card, hopefully. So I will be back. I just wanted to let you know, kind of, I just went through purple, 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 purple. Okay, went with the dark uh, turquoise blue around that, around that, around that, around that. Came in with the, um, was it the green? The green. Do, 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 all around that as far as I've wanted and then I'm doing the yellow uh, color I am and that's it so I kind of eliminated using that light the lighter turquoise color I don't know why um, so I'm just filling this in just to get some color in here and I think that's as good as it's gonna be so I will be right back I did go around with that yellow and then I realized well the very end of peacock feathers are usually like the darkest like the black or whatever around here so I just went through with the darkest of the blue and kind of put it on the tips but it's really hard to get in that little skinny area <laughs> and not make a mess so I just did the best I could what I'm gonna do is fussy cut this you can also use a die to cut this out you don't have the fussy cut but I'm going to Fussy cut this the best I can. And again, my tip with fussy cutting is always to turn your paper while your hand that has the scissors is applying pressure. And the reason I'm getting close is because of that, how it went off the edge um, at the very end. I'm trying to make it so you can see. Like my beak, look, that was over coloring. Hope you can kind of see on there. So like I want to get real close to those edges. So I'm going to try to stay as close to the edge as I can as I do this, but um, that's just me. If you did a better job, then you can just leave some white edge and make it easier, right? But I will be right okay, back. Another tip as I'm working on this, you can see how thin that is. I cut this little tip off. So what I'm doing now is I'm cutting up towards it. So I'll get right on the edge of that little thin line and cut up. And that helps out a lot. And then just this little last piece, I just kind of tear it off. So I'll do it one more time. And right there. So I'm going to get on the other side of it. Cut up. Then down here. So I hope that helps. <laughs> okay, guys. Woo. All right, that took some time, and I'm not even super happy with it, <laughs> but um, it's okay. This paper started kind of peeling, like here. So what I'm gonna do is just take um, this and kind of finish it up, just so it looks a little nicer on those edges. You can take um, a distressing tool and some ink and just go around the whole edges if you want to make it look a little more organic. But I'm going to do that. Okay. And then um, I'm probably going to try to cut this a little bit better. This top part. I don't like that. Um, okay. So let me grab some of the paper. We're going to cut out that larger um, die cut frame and see if we can get make it look like you know something nice okay for the card base i made myself a five by seven card base of course if you're using eight and a half by eleven paper you're going to want to cut your paper at seven inches so on the side that's eight and a half you cut off an inch and a half seven inches by 
10. So you're just gonna cut off that extra inch off the 11 inch side, okay? Otherwise you're not gonna get a five by seven card base from an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Um, and then I'm going through the paper stack and I'm gonna use this page. because I think if I had this on here, it would look pretty. So I'm gonna use this bottom corner. Of course, there's plenty of each paper uh, page. I think there's three or four of each design. So I'm not, you know, gonna be too upset that I cut off quite a bit of this guy. And I wanna cut it at four and, oh, you know what? I don't know what I wanna cut it at yet because I don't know exactly the size this frame is gonna be. Let me see. Oh, I put it in front of me over here. You know what I'm saying? It says actual cut size five by seven. So let me cut this out first. And I was thinking about cutting it out of the vellum. So let me grab a piece of vellum. I think I'll go with like the blue one, the darker blue. I'm just gonna cut a chunk out of the vellum. Yeah, this is big. And again, they do have two in here, so two dies. So you can just cut into your paper and not have to cut it out, but I am gonna use the frame and the inner so I can get that going. But I will be right back. Well, actually, you guys can sit here. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be right back. It's not the biggest deal. Let me grab this here. Ooh, the purple's pretty too, though. I was gonna go with like this color. Hmm. Let me see. This color, that guy, I don't even know where I put my little dude. Okay, we'll just take a chunk off of this. Oh, now that is vellum, you wanna be very careful as I pulled it, you see how it just like kinked up real bad there? Okay, I'm gonna cut a piece of this out. Um, just over five inches, because I don't know exactly how much this needs. Oh. Ooh. Sorry guys, that was really loud. I didn't expect that. Okay, so I cut it just over five inches and this basically mats right over that. Oops. I'm gonna use this in my Gemini and I'm gonna place the metal, I think I'm gonna put the metal shim underneath this. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we'll see. Um, Does that ever happen when you expect or you're going to do something but you don't expect the project to be that uh, involved and then you're like, oh, not what I was planning on doing. So I'm sorry. Hopefully, I think it'll be very pretty so it'll be worth it at the end here. Um, let me move some of these things to the side. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, my Gemini was still on from yesterday. I was like, no. Oh, well, it's fine. It, that little light was on still. Okay, so what I'm saying is I'm going to cut it into this. So hopefully that'll be okay. Just because it's vellum, I'm sure if you cut into the the plastic, uh, the actual cutting plate, it'll probably be fine. And then plastic, magnetic, and this other one. Just so I can get a really nice crisp cut. Ooh, yeah, that sounds real good. <laughs> sounds awesome. I don't know where I put my peacock. that okay oh my goodness wow um I guess it cut this is kind of painful because I'm gonna have to go through and pretty much pop out every single <laughs> little piece it looks like super delicate you guys okay I'll be right back I'm just gonna pop out probably use my pokey tool whatever I need to do to get these pieces out of here and I'll be back okay guys Ooh, that was some work okay so I went ahead and cut down my paper at five by seven I probably should have looked behind here more like what exactly was going on because I wanted this blank area but it kind of looked nice and maybe I should have cut the five by seven more over so we have more of this guy I don't know but this is five by seven which is kind of weird because then my card is exactly five by seven and that's not always my favorite thing to do but that's what happened here so that's what we're gonna go with um sorry I was just thinking how I want to stick this down I guess I'll use this stuff even though I wasn't planning on it and I'm just going to stick this down now because I'm going to let it dry. And also I know this is what I'm going to do. This is going to be flat. And then the frame I think will also be flat. But I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that part yet. So let me 
get that going and I'm going to give it a little bit of a zhuzh because I want that glue to go to the very edge since this goes to the very edge of our um, card. So see I'm kind of moving it back and forth a little bit, just a little bit, just so I know that the glue will spread out to those edges. Hope that's good. Okay, and then we have the frame, which is going to be another fun thing to stick down. I am probably... So what I usually do with vellum is I only put a little bit of glue here and there so it's not super visible, but I think I'm going to go around the edges with the glue because otherwise I don't know how else to stick this down. And then we have this guy, and so maybe we'll pop him up. I was thinking he should be in the background. You know, maybe we'll put him in the background and then we'll cut out a few other feathers that'll be kind of out here. Okay, I'm not going to glue this down yet. Well... Okay, I am going to glue this down because <laughs> all we have to do is glue the frame. Like I said, I'm just going to put glue on this outer edge. And I'm using this. I do not know if it's going to show up. I know I've um, glued plastic like acetate with this before and it did a really good job of not like super showing up. So we'll see what happens here. Yeah, I'm just putting as much as I can, but not too, too much. And vellum will also warp, just like any other paper, so you want to be kind of light on the glue. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to start with one edge. Kind of bring it over to the other side. And that's just because I use vellum. I mean, if you want to use just a plain color paper, then you won't have to mess with this so much, but... Trying to cover that whole 5 by 7 paper. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. That color all purpose. I don't see it looking too, like, gross behind there or anything. Not bad. Okay, let me grab some paper so we can cut out a few of the, um, that's what we use the stamp set. Uh, these guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know one thing Sarah always mentions to make something look more professional is that the colors really coordinate. So she's like, you know, when she does collections, she tries to put the same colors. We only have the vellum or paper that if you want to cut, I guess you can cut like from some of these maybe. You know what I'm saying? Cut out your, um, your feathers so they coordinate more because they're exactly the same colors. That's possible. I just grabbed two different purples that I have sitting here and we'll see if it works out. If it looks great, great. If it doesn't, then maybe I'll do something different. But um, again, I went with the purples. We already have like that bluish kind of back here. We have purple in the background. There's just a lot of color going on here. So let's see what these look like. And hopefully it'll look nice at the end here. And I just don't need the biggest plumes. I think maybe this one and this one. I like the way this one's very delicate. And then this one just for something else. So let's make the lighter purple one. Because this one probably layer... Oh, they're facing the other way too. I want them both going the same direction. Okay, so that's not those guys. Um, <laughs> I guess it's these two. Alright, Oh, I wanted to do this one because it's so pretty. But I do want them kind of going in the same direction. Yeah. Okay, so I'll make this one the light purple one and this one the darker purple one. And I'll run these through the marquee just to make it quick and easy and I'll be right back. Okay, just a little more here. <clears throat> so pretty. This, I like. <laughs> but then again, it was easy, right? Just cut it out. I just was surprised by how much uh, coloring, I guess, we had to do. And basically, if you want anything to look nice, you're going to have to do the coloring, so... You can resign yourself to knowing that right now. Let's see here. Here should pop out, and this one should pop out. That one's stuck in a little bit. There we go. Okay. This is super delicate, so I'm assuming that bigger one's probably even more delicate because it had a lot of the same thing going on. This would be very pretty in vellum, too. And let's go, and this last little piece here. My goodness, <laughs> this little guy kind of stayed in there. Okay, let me clean this up. Well, I always say that and maybe I don't need to take the time to do that. There's this guy and see that's the thing, I kind of wanted these to face in so I 
Maybe I have to put it like this. Hmm. It's a lot of fine, fine, fine going on, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hard for me to like put this together. Huh. I suppose we can go this way here. And then maybe the sentiment here. Okay, we can do that. I'm just gonna flatten it out, I suppose. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, we can pop this up, but mm, it's not gonna work. So, I guess the sentiment can be popped up. And be careful with those little edges. We'll put this here. So I'm kind of lining up the head there, the center of that. And these guys, I'm just going to leave them kind of delicate, I suppose. So right down the center, putting some glue in the center areas, and the rest can just kind of float around, do its own thing. Right there. I'm going to hold that down, and then this guy, same kind of thing. I'll just run some glue down this center area and glue it right here. Okay, so that's our base. Basically the card, I'm just going to do some kind of sentiment. Again, it's five by seven, which is always a challenge for me because I don't normally make big cards like that. Um, so we're going to use a sentiment here. We have thank you, today's all about you, sending happy thoughts. Really pretty little flourish here. Um... I don't know what I want to do. I guess I'm going to use thank you. I want it to be a little bit longer because I want to take up some space here, but I don't think we can get it longer. So uh, the sentiments that came in the set are pretty short, you know. So we'll use this thank you and the color. And I have a color called Peacock, but I don't know where it is right now. And that's like a blue color. No, Parakeet. I'm making that one up. <laughs> Let me see what Parakeet looks like. That's pretty. Okay, so we'll use Parakeet. And that's a quick dry ink. And again, you can cut this, you know, with your dies, something, make it look prettier. I'm just going to cut this out. And then I'll mount this on some other paper, but I'm trying to think what I want to do. With that little thank you, I have like pieces of vellum left. Sure, why not, right? So I'm going to glue this on here. And like I always do, just use the cola glue, but then I'll just cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So more like it, it's pretty. It's very pretty. It takes time. So um, you know, just be prepared for that. And like I said, not everything has to be easy. I know a lot of times we're like, easy, easy. Like, not everything has to be easy. Um, I know recently I've been doing more, you know, with the, like, the tonic shaped boxes and stuff. Or even when I made that little cup the other day. It was easy in that if you're going to make something 3D like that, you want the dies to be smart, right? So it's just like, oh, kind of easy to put together. Um, and so time is a different thing, right? So taking time is a different thing. Being easy is a different thing. <laughs> uh, you know, yesterday I made that Spellbinders um, card with the inexpensive uh, sets that are on sale right now. And it was super easy because all I did was just cut out, cut, 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 and I was done, you know? Um, this takes a, a little time, especially with the coloring. And if you like coloring, then you're going to love it. If you don't like coloring, then maybe, you know, it's not going to be something you're going to be a huge fan of. Uh, it did take time. So let's put this over here. But again, I always say if it takes time and it's well worth it, then that's great. Like if it's gorgeous, you know. Uh, hmm, I could always, I guess, put everything here too. But I felt like this needs to go here. What do you guys think? Oh, that's tough because it looks pretty good here too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, let's put this straight and let me look at it in the camera. I'm looking up towards... I feel like it needs to go here, but then like something should be here, no? So it's kind of bottom heavy. But you know what? I like it here. So I'll put it here. I know it's covering up a lot of my little work here, especially the cutting that we did, but... I don't know, I like that. Okay, well, I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> 
All right, guys. I was thinking about doing uh, the next live of like putting together a card while you guys are with me, obviously, because it's live. And then you guys can tell me like, use the pink paper, or use the blue paper. And I'll like, uh, you know, ask those kind of questions and we'll see what comes up at the end, right? But um, I think that'd be fun. If you guys think that'll be fun, let me know. I look forward to that. Um, yeah, that's all right. Maybe I could have sent it. I don't know. I, I kind of like it all over here. All right, guys. So thanks for coming with my journey with me on my journey with me this morning, uh, putting together something I did not expect. And um, I think it was a really fun, really pretty, um, you know, at the end. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.